What's going on, everybody? It's Trib from Troop Talks here, and we are here for Crewcast episode 17, and we got a banger for you guys. Now, we didn't upload a Crewcast last week because uh, we got real hammered and really just started, you know, talking and spewing shit. So, that ended up being around two hours long. Yeah, so, we're talking way too much shit. <laughs> so, so, we realized that we couldn't upload that, but we're here to upload this one today with a little less intoxication. And the first man I want to introduce in the room is Colge. How you doing, brother? I'm doing fantastic, dude. Bryce and I went to play some disc golf today, and I shot my personal best at Hell's Gate. Dude, I feel like it, it's almost like a weekly thing. I feel like when you go disc golfing, the best day to go for you is Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Because that's when you shoot your personal best. Because I feel like this is like the third or fourth crew cast in a row where we've opened with it and you've said that exact same thing yeah um eight under eight under dude that's spectacular my last one was five under you ought to go back to league is what i'm thinking it's it's on saturdays that's at true. noon now. yeah that sucks and like i usually work saturdays at noon so yeah. i'm also a big fan of your shirt that you got in the studio you guys aren't gonna be able to see it but uh it's, it's, it really sends a real deep message, and I think uh, everybody really needs to hear it. Uh, do you want to read the words that are on your shirt? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of complicated. Give me a second. Yeah, I, I, I don't, don't know how to read know. it either. Yeah. It says, don't be sad. And if there's anything you could take from this podcast today, please take that wise words printed on Colter's shirt. Don't be sad. Be happy. You have lots to live for. Speaking of people that have lots to live for, we got Fitz in the building. Larry? How you doing, brother? Oh, you know, right in the way, man. Yeah. Cardinals are on a three-game win streak, so we're doing good. Dude, that's, I love to see that. And like I said, the Cardinals, if only you guys won the games that I picked you guys in, because you guys would only have one loss by this point. So well, I'm, drink, I'm drinking the Cardinals coffee almost every week. It should be week. four and three, you know, but we messed that one up in week one. So, so that's a big Now a big we're ripping into the chat because we're still in fourth. So you got uh, number fifty-five on the Cardinals. I'm not really sure who that is. What yeah. what jersey? What jersey do you got on? Nobody knows who he is. Who his is name's it? Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. <laughs> yeah, his Jones. brother's John. Is he like on your practice John squad? Bones did you have, Jones? Did you have, He's not even the most famous in his family. Did you? Uh, did <laughs> you have to get true. that custom made? Because I think yeah. you have to get jerseys custom made for the practice squad. I did. <laughs> Dude, yep. it cracks me up right before this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so my last name is Jones. Barnage. Just, like, out of nowhere just goes, Jones. <laughs> and, like, no one's called me Jones since high school. <laughs> since, like, my wrestling coach used to call me Jones. And, like, I looked at him like, what the fuck? Like, don't call me that. <laughs> it was just so weird. All right, and speaking of that man himself, the man that held it down in the chat, and we finally get him in the studio, Barnhouse Productions. How you doing, brother? <sighs> Was an American dream. Are you actually? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you've been in a crew cast since we uh, started. No, since <laughs> we since we did the uh, the one about the cabin. I, yeah, it's been a Probably. while. It's yeah. been a while since you've you know stepped in front of the mic. You know what's what's going on in your life since then? People need to know. Thousands of dollars in debt. <laughs> the government. No. <laughs> that's what that's what we like to hear in the podcast. I'm the poor person in the. In the crew. <laughs> that's that's just, we send it back to the model for this episode. Yeah. Don't, don't be, be sad. sad. <laughs> don't be sad, bro. You just, just be happy about it. Fuck yeah. broke, bitches. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm still alive. And before we introduce the last guest of the podcast, I just want to give out a spot, uh, shout out to our sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> you need to knock that off. We're not sponsored. <laughs> not not spo sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored, but we're sponsored by beer. But Dollar Shave Club, if you are looking for somebody to sponsor, sponsor us because we all use Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> and we're, we're going to need or you. Or Snapple. <laughs> we need a new mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need a new mic. But there might there might be some uh, coming up in the future. Like I like I was Ooh. I was explaining I was explaining to our next guest I'm about to introduce earlier that I only really needed one mic because I only did solo shit forever. But now that we're doing crew shit, we're definitely gonna need to uh, you know hook up some more mics. Get this shit yeah, going. We all make, have our own personal mic. Yeah, make the make the crew cast a little bit more bearable to listen. Put it to. on Spotify, iTunes. I mean, I could regular do regular voice, I and then do we could do like right a one on YouTube that has the video. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to go all in on that. I feel like though it's it's crazy because we all be we all be busy doing our own shit, but we're definitely gonna have to. Well, we got five children in the room right now. Yeah, we do have five children in the five room right huge now. Huge children. Huge children. Massive children taking up. It was up. hot in here. We had, then I opened the window. We had to crack a window open because we got a bunch of men. In Sexy here men that are over one eighty. Except for Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you, Jesus. Drink, you, you drink a lot. You drink a lot of beer, bro. Don't no, I don't. Oh, I drink a lot. I haven't drank other than last night. <laughs> yeah. Like I haven't drank beer in a minute. And the final guest of the podcast, he showed up to back to back picks, and hopefully, no one from work is watching this because he's my favorite coworker, and he is <laughs> no, my favorite right. lunch date week in and Dude. week out. We got Hunter in the building. How you doing, brother? Oh, just live and I hope they do watch it so they know. <laughs> so, they, so they know confirm that you yeah, are. They my know favorite. confirm that I'm your favorite. You know, gotcha. and, and this this guy is he's a legend, you know. Freaking he did a lot for me. He's like the whole reason why I got the job I am today. He gave me a hardcore reference and you know I hear him on the radio all the time. Me, yeah. me and he's Hunter famous. Me and I, Hunter literally <laughs> Dream and Hunter are, are famous. famous. They're on yeah. the radio. If you got me if you got me on Snapchat, you know. <laughs> By the way, you can add Cole on Snapchat. His username is Yeti fifteen sixty seven. Oh wow, he actually gave it out. I didn't think he was actually going to give out a Snapchat. We at you right now, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hunter, don't even got you added on Snapchat. I don't usually say fifteen sixty seven, but uh, it's one five six seven. Fifteen. That's like the hardest thing that I've had to learn in radio is like when you read uh, phone numbers, you don't say like five eight one seven at the end. You say fifty eight seventeen. Like you don't. Oh, that's ever... how you read it. Yeah, that's oh. how you read it on the radio. That's that's how you you don't do it like that. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> no. You, 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 I like to put my own flavor on it. You, you, you spit out the whole. I like the to give. Yeah, I like to give like a second per number. It's long and drawn out, you know. So <laughs> me and you are both over here, like one eight hundred. there's never been a. No, you be like one. Eight. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. See, but then you're just getting a bunch of people like that are at red lights like erect. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, what else are they gonna do? With <laughs> you know? I was definitely very horny when I heard you on the radio. <laughs> I was very erect and then I didn't know who you were at first and then like I heard you last time you came here and I was like, damn. This I can't believe I know this le- local celebrity. This legend. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally holds down that radio station. I bet you're probably yeah. your voice and you know Evan's voice are probably the two most popular you just voices. Put it on my shoulders, you know. Dude, is yeah. Evan the guy that does most of the commercials? Yeah, yeah. he yeah. has a really nice. Voice. Doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's it's very warm. nice. It's warm, warm nice. voice, dude. Dude, like as a person that's in radio and I try to get my voice to sound good, like you strive for a voice like that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah like, dude. I would not have a good radio voice. <laughs> dude, that's it's the, hard. It's, it's hard to find your own voice, especially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's like It's different for like what you do. Nice you, deep voice. You know what I mean? Like commercials. Right. As commercials opposed... he's like really good for commercials especially, but like if you're talking just to talk, you gotta have like something that's gonna keep people like in game. Yeah. On the edge of the seat, you know, it's like... And see, yeah. that's like... That's why I didn't work out at the other radio station that I worked at, because they wanted me to do, like, a bunch of commercials. But literally, like, what I've been doing for the whole last year is just trying to be conversational. Yeah. So that's why, you know, this ended up being a better fit. But today, I was in a deep conversation with my buddy Stamper from Stamper Sports Talks, or Jay from Stamper Sports Talks, today. And we talked about... Who the three most funniest people in the world are? Because I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a read on everybody's view in comedy. Because I think if there's one thing in the crew that we're different about, is our view of comedy. I think yeah. that we all think different shits funny, and I I think we all like have different opinions. <laughs> now you, we can do we we're gonna rule out anybody you know. So I'm talking like people, celebs, yeah, celebs that make you laugh. People that are really funny to you, so you know you get a read on your comedy. I'm gonna kick it off. And I'm gonna say Jared Kiso is yeah. the first is that the guy person that takes a shirt off. No, dude, he's the he's the guy. Uh, he plays Wayne off of Letterkenny. Oh, 
Okay. And Chorzy. Like, he's... Mm -hmm. I love Canadian fucking humor, dude. Just dry as shit, straight oh, up. so you're talking about, like, blunt. actors? Yeah. That People, play in, like, movies and stuff? Or stand-up or comedians, anybody. Oh, just okay. Anybody that you think is just... Okay, so I've been watching fun. Big Mouth lately. And, yeah. uh, I, I can't... Nick Kroll. Oh, Nick Kroll. Dude, that dude. guy is hilarious. That whole show, he does so many voices. And that show is just... Fucking hilarious, dude. I still have never seen it. Dude, it's funny. Like, season two, I just started season three, but it, it's hilarious. Dude, like, I don't know. Fitz, this funny guy. First name on your list, too. I have no idea. When it comes to comedy, things that who, makes, who makes you fucking laugh? And you could just say, like, the character off the TV show, if it's a TV show. Just, okay, so who does that stand-up uh, act? I've only watched that, but that stand-up act is hilarious. It's like drunk girls versus, like, the drunk guys. Oh, him? I don't remember. I don't know his name. I can't but I know think of his name, about. but, like, that guy's fucking funny, too. Barnhouse, who makes you laugh? Uh, dude, like, I guess it's a big name, but a lot of people don't know him. I guess, like, you didn't know who he was until me and Colton started talking about him, but, like, David Dobrik, like, he's a vlogger. Dude's yeah. funny as fuck. He does, like, he, funny stuff, yeah. Oh, dude, he is so funny. And, like, the people he has on his vlogs are oh, just ridiculous. It's hilarious. There's some, like, so, like, basically who he hangs out with are all the old really good Viners. Yeah. And, like, I don't know, Vines are pretty funny. I miss Vine. Vines are classic. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, like, what TikTok's uh, trying to recreate. I was watching Big Mouth and... In, like, a bathroom stall, it said, I miss Vine. Oh, <laughs> Someone no. there. Hunter, who makes you laugh? Dude, it's who you guys were talking about. Chris D'Elia. That's who does the drunk girls versus drunk guys. Oh, too. really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, he is fucking he's hilarious. Funny. He's a funny guy. Dude, and... Anyone, anyone that's, like, on Hot Ones. Any, yeah. <laughs> My next guy is somebody that I don't think a lot of you know, and I talked about him before the picks, but, dude, feel Vaughn. He's a funny guy. One too. of the funniest fucking people I've ever heard. Like, and he's so genuinely funny. Like, he's just like it's if just you don't him. if you don't pay attention to his jokes, some of them go mm -hmm. like right over your head. It's like you watch the hot ones with Theo Vaughn. Yeah, he's hilarious. You watch Joe Rogan podcast. I know he has his own podcast, but it's I, haven't, good, I haven't listened to he it. He interviewed uh, the coach from Last Chance U. Yeah, dude, it was super fucking good. Super funny. I'd say Theo Vaughn's probably my number two, and my number three is probably Joey Diaz. Joey Coco dude, Diaz. Joey Diaz is hilarious. Just a funny fat guy. Dude, he fills the totally, role. Totally, you know, Brooklyn kind of guy. Yeah. Just hilarious. Italian, you yeah. know. Just, and he's super old and he has like a five year old kid. Yeah. Like he's just. Yeah. It's funny. Fitz, have you figured out anybody that makes you laugh? Well, anyone that plays on Trailer Park Boys. Like Rick Yeah, that's Bubbles. true. Like Ricky. Ricky's think, fucking, like, all of his J to the ROC. I think Adam's hilarious on Workaholics just because he's an idiot. Oh, oh Adam, yeah. De Adam yeah. Devine. Yeah, Adam yeah Devine. he's a funny guy. He's good. His yeah. stand-up special was good. Barn watched that. I thought it was good. I just thought he was too gimmicked. Like, like, towards the end. So, like, a lot of people think this guy is funny, but I don't think he's, like, that funny. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Oh my oh, god, dude. I don't really His newest care for special was so good. It It's alright. It's just, I don't know, it's just not my kind of comedy, I guess. Where do you stand on Dave Chappelle on it? I don't like it that yeah, much. You know yeah, what I just don't, like, it's not for me. Like, yeah, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I like, I don't know. I'm kind of into, like, if the comedy's super bland, super blunt, dry, dry, or I mean, it's, I like that kind of or stuff, if it's but... super outrageous. Like, Kevin mm -hmm. Hart. Yeah. I don't Kevin even care if that's right. cherry picking. Like yeah. Kevin Hart's newest comedy special is one of the funniest stand up specials I have ever fucking seen. Yeah. And that's definitely pound for pound, you know. He's probably the most elite stand up comedy guy yeah. in the world. But Colt, you said something was a Bruin that you had to discuss on the podcast earlier today. I did? Yeah, you said it in the car that you had uh he had a story to tell today. Oh, yeah, it was the disc golf. Oh, it was the disc golf? Dude, yeah. <laughs> you, you, let, you let into the disc golf making me think it was I think be... that's what we always start off the podcast with. We, I was... literally think every podcast I do, I'm like, oh, yeah, me and Bryce went out and played today. You and Fitz always go out every Wednesday because you know you guys are going to always end up meeting back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's always the plan. All right. 
What the fuck's brewing on y'all's mind? We got five men in here. Whoa. Uh, what about our special We're guest? Here. We we will introduce a special guest here in a little bit. We got about probably six minutes before we introduce okay. who we're going to have on. Oh, it's a good uh, man. I've it's, been, I'm, I'm excited I'm, to I'm introduce so it, and I think that's when the podcast is going to pick up, but we're waiting for him to get some stuff done before okay, we, yeah. before we uh, introduce him and have him on the podcast. But, you know, Fitz, what's, what's on your mind, bud? Nothing. I'm just finishing up Workaholics, and then I'm gonna start the Good Place because Barn and Dude, the Good man. Place is the a good great, great is fucking show. And then the I was Jacksonville thinking about dude in Good Place is like the best part about that whole show because he's just like so clueless about it all, and it just makes it so good. I I think that's honestly one of my favorite shows. That and Superstore. If you oh, haven't seen Superstore, Superstore I think good. my mom watches Superstore to be honest. Superstore is legitimately a classic. Hunter, what have you been watching these days? Gosh, I don't even know. Just You've been YouTube. gaming, bro. I've been gaming, been Minecraft grind, dude. Dude, yeah. dude oh, like I, I, I need, I've been waiting for this. I've been, on, I've been waiting man. for this conversation, and I know this is going to be more of a three-person conversation. But I say it every day at lunch because I was like, Hunter, add me on PlayStation Network. We'll play Madden. He's like, Dude, I play Minecraft. Dude, let's, <laughs> let's discuss the <laughs> Minecraft. I, I need to see your world when I can Minecraft afford Madden. Much. I will play Madden with you. But until then, I've got Minecraft. That's 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 funny. I said I'll play Minecraft with the crew when they buy it for me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll play Buy- Madden if somebody wants to give me the money, but hey, Minecraft and Overwatch, that's all I'm playing. That's oh, how so it was with Madden 19. 19. I waited for Jameson to give well, me Madden yeah, 19 because yeah. I, I was not going to get it. it. Overwatch is a good game. I've maybe played, so like Fortnite, I've played like five games on this new, what is it, Chapter 2 yeah, or whatever. new season. Every single time I won. Wow. I don't know if that's just like a. There's like hella bots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like, but even, even that, like, I I still never won any games. Yeah. Before In solo games, you never won. Any I games. never won, and like every single time I, I played five, four or five times, and every single time I won. That's weird. See, I was always into PUBG more. Than then Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. I've yeah. never. See, I, I played like once or twice. When, when Fortnite came out, PUBG kind of. Became a little bit more irrelevant. Yeah. yeah Fortnite stormed and just, just took a long time. PUBG we're, was never fully developed uh, yeah. <laughs> until like <laughs> six so months many, after Fortnite came yeah, out fully they developed. Like no bugs. Yeah. They had so many bugs. Yeah. I just don't game that much. That's I don't like, game a whole lot either. That's why you gotta get on Minecraft. I Minecraft like, Minecraft that's like DayZ. I just try yeah, to do other things. Yeah. You can't even play that game without something lagging and like. 25 people left at the end is like all in cars. It's like, what's the point of playing this? So I know Minecraft is just one of those games, though, that you can play for hours on end. Dude, you can play for hours Um, and just do like 80,000 different things. Yeah, Yeah. it doesn't even matter. It's like Grand Theft Auto, dude. I'm curious to see. I want to see some of the worlds, to be honest. Dude, there's some weird stuff going on in those worlds. (laughs) (laughs) Trust me, we got some weird shit too. There's some weird (laughs) stuff going on. Huge. Cox. You just get bored and just balls. create some funny yes. I can never like figure out what to name my worlds either, so I just name it like whatever. Oh, mine are so bad. Time, man. Yeah. I don't name any mine anything good. You guys should just ask me to name your worlds. I'm great like that's at, a good idea. I'm yeah. great at split decision making. I like Vance. that idea. I'm great at headlines. I wish I could like <clears throat> look at my Minecraft world games right now and just tell you a couple because they're so bad. When's the last time you logged into Minecraft? Because I know you've been the on that. Last time we all did, probably like, like a month and a half, maybe yeah. more. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I know because y'all y'all get on like sporadic gaming binges. Yeah, yeah. I've been right now. It's GTA Five. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good game. Now that you can buy it in a club. That's dude, what I'm talking him about. Been doing stuff Free lap there. dances. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. All you gotta do is find those YouTube attack YouTube. copters like above the strip oh, yeah. club, and then just start firing into it. <laughs> what the fuck? That's how you get the money. That's how school shooters are made. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, I'm just kidding. Listen, no, listen. I'm totally kidding. That's how you get the good money. All the it, people in the strip club on Grand Theft Auto carry the big bucks, dude, because you know they'd be paying out in there. Oh, yeah. All the, all the AI in the game, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dropping, like, $20 bills. You know it's real. Oh, That's man. So, Troop, about. tell us about your new glasses. Did you pick those out? or I did pick them out, out, and Bailey was not a fan of them. Yeah, they're, they're Oakleys. Long. They're I nice glasses. I liked them. Dude. Yeah, they're I, really I, nice. like, Is, like, this part up here for, like, streams? Yeah. That's dope. 
Right? I think you're cool. Dude, I mean, I, I think I could pull them off better, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think they're perfect. I like them. If y'all watch the NFL pick stream, or if you watch literally any video following this, you are going to see the, the oh, losses. Please. Yeah. But Bailey, I walk in, and I look at her. I'm like, what do you think? She goes... You no, no, close. She goes. She goes. They don't match your face structure. Yeah, exact <laughs> words. And like, I was, I was like, what? Damn. Right. Yeah, it's right. heated. That is brutal. Yeah. But anyway, we're our motto here in the crew cast is don't be sad and don't be sad because we're gonna be coming right back. But we got a special guest in the crew cast, and this is where things are gonna get. Real, real exciting. I got one of my first ever subscribers in the building, Christopher Columbus. It's going to be awesome. He's a great guy. We talk. He's invited to my wedding, and I think he's trickled on to be one of the uh, fan favorites of these guys in this room. I think things are going to get weird. (laughs) You're going to want to stay tuned because things are about to get weird coming up next. And we're back. Colch, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting for it for so long, dude. I don't think it fits. I know Fitz has been waiting for it. Barnage moderated the chat. He's yeah, been, he's yeah, been waiting yeah. for it. Hunter's is, new in the bitch, and dude, he's been waiting for it. Waiting. This is my favorite <laughs> subscriber. I'm sorry, all other subscribers, but... Uh... It's Might definitely... as well be the only fucking subscriber, honestly, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, at this point, at some, at some points, it feels like he's, like, my only subscriber, but I have to give a big shout-out to my guy. Christopher Columbus, that's just what we're going to call you throughout this video. He's literally one of my first subscribers. How you doing, bro? Doing solid, bro. Thanks for finally getting me on here. I know that was kind of like, you know, more so me not being able to come on here, but finally glad we're able to do this, man. So thanks for having me on. Dude, I'm glad. And I really wanted I really wanted to uh, put you on to where it was more of a me and you thing where we just kind of talk about some shit as opposed to a Jags video because me and you really do go back. And one question I want to ask before I get started, because I never really did ask, and it's selfish, but how did you figure out about Treve Talks? Dude, oh man, jeez. You're taking me back to like some like ancient tomb times. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dog. I, I, honestly, dude, I I think like, it, it, it must have been like some kind of like YouTube like like recommendation where it just popped up on my page because I'm not sure who I subscribed to first if it was you or UCF Jaguar but um, I remember I think I was I think I might have even just been looking for some Jags content just because I you know like it's just really non-existent you know I can literally name the the, the Jaguar YouTubers on one hand you know what I mean Two so. Fingers. Yeah, <laughs> so, I, th- I think it was really just either a YouTube recommendation or it was literally just um, me searching for some content and I happened to see like just something that you might have like put out and I clicked it and I was like, oh yeah, this guy actually knows what the fuck he's talking about. And then I, I guarantee you it's probably something like that. That's probably how it like, like just like ensued. But I wish I can give a better answer. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much like, what I can remember. I think the the most iconic day for all of y'all because y'all y'all ain't in the the Trebs Tribe group chat. But I think the day we made the Trebs Tribe group chat, it was me, Chris, and Jay Dang. And let me tell you, these are real supporters of the channel. Yeah. You know what was uh you know because I I I've, and like you're a celebrity around these parts because I've fucking talked about you. I'm like, dude, this Christopher Columbus guy always be commenting on there. Don't you? You always feel some type of way when Christopher Columbus fucking enters the chat oh yeah 100 <laughs> percent. i've been waiting for this i followed you on instagram like i've been waiting. yeah dude i see you check out my stories and shit from time to time hey man appreciate you bro hats off man thank you a lot yeah thanks. dude your instagram <laughs> stories are the fucking best because you're either smoking weed drinking beer your dog or you're working and that's all i, I need like to fucking it. see <laughs> that's fucking spot on the best way to live life bro Dude, I ain't seen enough Instagram stories of you climbing rocks, rock walls. Though I honestly, I think you've been slacking. You've been you've been slacking on the climbing. Um, another thing that's been kind of holding me back. Uh, long story short, I'll try to keep it like pretty appropriate. But uh, some dude was uh kind of uh being abusive towards my sister, and I kind of had to square up with him and kind of pretty much, you know, let them know that shit's not going to fly. And uh, I kind of fucked up my hand in the process. So it's been a, 
it's been rehealing. So as soon as that hand's good, dude, I'm definitely gonna be putting out some more material on the uh, climbage. So uh, stay tuned. Yes. yes. Make sure you subscribe to uh, what, what's your YouTube channel now? You changed it. It's not Christopher Columbus anymore. And what's the story? I want to know that. Why was your YouTube name Christopher Columbus? Okay. So uh, honestly, I. I I, I'm not a fan of Christopher Columbus at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a complete douchebag. And uh, I, I, I think the only thing that I can think of is I'm a huge South Park fanatic. Like, I can tell you any kind of reference, like, possible, like, anything. And uh, I think it was around the time that South Park had produced the episode where Randy Marsh was stoked on Christopher Columbus. And I <laughs> yeah, that's a classic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it originated from. And uh, yeah, looking back on it, I was like, you know what? I don't think people are gonna get that reference. So I just kind of changed the name to something that'd like be like more like suiting. Like I'm on the central coast of California, so I figured the central coast climber was like a pretty adequate name. So hence where the name comes from. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to him. His link will of course be in the description. Now, Colge, something that I haven't talked to you about. And something that I think we all need to pitch in on because I think it'll be good content. We're thinking about getting Christopher Columbus out here. For the Crew Olympics? Not a Crew Olympics. Maybe for the Crew Olympics. But he wants to fight. You. Me? You. I want to get some clarity. I don't want him to think <laughs> I just like, got some beef with him or something. <laughs> 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 So I came up, or I don't know, I don't even know if I can take credit for it, but I think I may have pitched the idea, hey, Treeb, you know what might get you some videos on your channel is Treeb taking on his best subscriber. You know, I think <laughs> that would generate some views for sure. And <laughs> Treeb, like, <laughs> Treeb, like <laughs> with good intention, he's like, hey, man, uh, how much do you even weigh? <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. That's like, facts. It's uh, it kind of shocks people when I tell them, but I'm about a buck thirty soaking wet. Oh my god! So, so once he knew that, he's all, "Dude, I got like a hundred pounds on you, bro." And I was like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> "So he's all, he basically passed the buck on to you, dude. He's all, bro, I can't be, I can't be thrashing on you like that. I gotta send you over to college, dude." So, <laughs> <laughs> over there. So yeah, that, dude, that's I'm where that came from. I, I have no problems at all with anybody over there. Oh, this no, is just never, to get nothing but love. Exactly, yep. dude. Not a better amor. That, that's just nothing but love, bro. That's dude, exactly I would, how we do I would it. love to set something up like that, man. Uh, what, what kind of fight? Like boxing well, or the like thing, MMA? The thing, the thing is, is he's going to be here for the wedding. Okay. So that's going to be like the perfect time to set that up. <laughs> and he wants he, – dude, he used to do, do some – in our suits and ties? He used, <laughs> he used to do some amateur uh, oh, MMA. Can we do it before the wedding so we can show you? Yeah, man. I used to, uh, <laughs> I used to uh, actively uh, compete in the different MMA uh, competitions. So I I'm not like I – I don't even have like a blue belt or anything like that in jiu-jitsu. I don't have any kind of ranking system. It's just, yeah, dude, I'm like familiar with like how to defend myself. And I think it would be fucking fun, dude, honestly. Like, you know, yeah, just we might as well do that, dude. Because the only like background I have is just wrestling. But uh, that'll fucking do you some good, dude. That'll suit you, man. We we could even do that, dude. Like if that's like more like comfortable for you, like I'm down to just do that too, you know. Yeah, we could just do a full on MMA fight. We might as well. This might is, as fucking well, bro. Like this it's is totally a great up to idea. You, bro. Honestly, like the the prelims of the Crew Olympics should be fucking Christopher Columbus versus fucking Colge in the cage. <laughs> in the cage, <laughs> yes. <laughs> fucking do and that's another thing. We got to make a fucking cage. I don't know how the hell we're going to do that, but we're definitely going to have to get some. Let, me, let, me, let me tell you, <laughs> if I needed three people to build me a fucking chain, it'd be you, Colge, and Barnage. So, like, I think we got a pretty good fucking team that can build a, a cage for y'all. No doubt, do. dude. We'll, we'll get it done. Just need the materials and we'll set it up yeah. <laughs> this is good we could like i don't know that's a great idea I'm telling you man it's going to generate some views and then potentially you could even get another channel where you just start fighting muffs 
Oh, <laughs> we need so to fight. Funny. God, we need to fight some muffs. Where's Kane? <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> dude, Cameron's gonna. No, Kane. Yeah. Oh, Kane, yeah, dude. <laughs> so, so uh, here's a story for you. One, one, of, one of the kids we went to school with got in trouble for uploading fight videos because he, they thought that he was trying to start a, some kind of fight club. So he got, like, the FBI, like, in on an investigation on him, like, when we were... Holy oh, shit, you got the FBI in there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dog. yeah, dude, people were sending him fight videos, or he was recording them, like, just all around, like, this valley kind of area, and people were just sending him fights, and he would just upload them, and they would be awesome. But, yeah. That just goes off. to show how, like, nothing is going on in Idaho to where they're literally getting high school kids fucking videos and be like, all right, yeah, we need to send somebody in there to stop this nonsense. Exactly, real quick. <laughs> exactly how it was. Nothing goes on in Idaho. <laughs> yeah, like, working that's, that's on... pretty much confirming, yeah. <laughs> working in the news in Idaho, like, what I do, the biggest stories are always poaching. That's, like, literally the biggest stories of Idaho is poaching. Damn. Well, I mean, for, for me, that's kind of news just because, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like fucking people illegally poaching. That's some shit, you know. I'll fucking, yeah, like, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of eat that up. But I totally get where you're coming from, you know what I mean? You're posting in Idaho, there's going to be people shooting some shit. So, you know, it's kind of to be expected. Yeah, that's what my senior project was about poaching wolf poaching or just poaching in general really yeah dude you guys actually have like a small minute wolf population in northern idaho i just i just uh, i just yeah. came across that because uh, they're trying to uh, well trump is essentially trying to take the wolves off the endangered species list and i'm not i'm not gonna try to tangent into that in, in, into that subject but uh, yeah that was just something that i just I just remembered real quick yeah, we have like a wolf like reservation like an hour away from us. Yeah, and that's, that's where I did my dope, senior hours at. And uh that's fucking dope. gotta meet some wolves and stuff. It was pretty cool. You Dude, see, I bet that's a fucking surreal experience, man. Yeah, that's super yeah, sweet. Wolves are crazy. You can see them run along the fence, it's cool. Yeah, we had to like feed that's them. Cool. And you can see them eat like 50, 60 pounds of meat, and then like those wolves just blow up twice the size they were before. Dude, they can get massive, man. People don't realize how big a wolf really is until they're like up like next to one of them. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Wolves are huge. So wow. in a fight, are you taking what what's what is it? Is it a grizzly bear? Or... Oh, so it's a fully grown grizzly bear versus a fully grown silverback gorilla. Who are you taking? Oh dude, the gorilla all day. That gorilla Yes, just yeah, just... thank you. Thank you. Yes. I, I'm not gonna lie. The the bear has a slight advantage with the claws because I think they can get up to about like nine inches. That's pretty fucking ridiculous, and you can definitely like like open up some tissue with that. But dude, do you just do you realize the strength of a fucking gorilla? <laughs> so that's fucking so like my reasoning is behind is uh, the grizzly bears. Fully grown grizzly bear can grow up, you know, almost to 1,500 pounds you know, 1,300 pounds. A fully grown grizzly or a gor gorilla is only about 500 pounds. So it definitely got a weight advantage. With like the 300. And, uh, but you also have a mobility advantage with yeah. the gorilla. Yeah. That bear swipes one, that gorilla can get up on his ass. And that gorilla yeah, I, I think, you know, like, 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 like bears, they can run up to like 30 miles an hour, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. They can definitely move. They but can I move. think climb trees and stuff they have claws just as sharp as kitchen knives you know what you know what I, i'm gonna rain check i'm gonna say whoever has the home advantage <laughs> so, and, and like in my situation it's just like put them in a glass box it's just, neutral field it's, it's a cage you know it's a cage it's a big ass cage you know just them fight yeah, question, dude but uh, i think <laughs> yeah, if, if i was to be a yeah, yeah, if I was to be a bet man on it, I think I'd have to put my wager on the gorilla. But it, fuck, dude. You, I mean, the bear could definitely still wreck shit for sure. That, like, no doubt about that in my mind. But if I, if I had to put a bet on it, I think I'm going to go with the gorilla. Now, I know in the chat, you're always talking, right when you come in, and right when, if it's a premiere of the video, right when you come in, you're on the notification squad, which more of you should be. Make sure you join the notification squad. Hit the bell. Hit the Hit bell subscribe. icon. Yeah. Hit subscribe. 
but you always say pack it fat before things start up. Now I need to know before you hopped here on camera, did you pack it fat? Oh, dude, I actually did not. Oh, what the fuck? I did. I wanted to make sure I was crispy and I wasn't slacking off, you know what I mean? And just like, you know, staring up into space and like not getting the questions or something. I wanted to make sure, you know, I was, I, I wanted to make sure I was the best version of myself to be able to support your channel, not just be like some fucking stony baloney, be like, what's up, dude? What'd you say, bro? Like, what? <laughs> you didn't want to be Perma Fred. So yeah. when, when I hear packet fat, the first thing I think of just packing a fat dip in your lip. Not oh shit! I, I gotta, I gotta admit that is probably one of the hickest things I've ever heard in my life, dude. <laughs> dude, dude, you, you are in the wrong place, right? Now. <laughs> dude, dude. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I've definitely never dipped in my life. I don't have any intention of doing so. No, I, I, I specifically just fuck with weed, bro. Like that's, that's all. I don't do any kind of like cocaine or any ecstasy. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? I'll fuck around with some psychs like once every like few months. Like they're if in the right settings, they can honestly be eye opening and life changing. But that's for another fucking time, dude. I'll, I will go off on a tangent about that. But no, I, <laughs> anytime I mention packet fat, bro, you know we're um, I'm out here in Cali, and you know it's all recreationally legal. So you know it's just it's it's just kind of part of the culture here. You know, like that's just yeah, man. Like I don't know, and I'm super close to the beach so just it yeah bro like that's just how it is here bro it's just like another it's kind of like a it's kind of like a social thing you know like people a lot of people like that i've met you know like at a party just on the street you know surfing at the beach you know like whatever it is you know like it, it, it's kind of like not necessarily just like a go-to but like 80 percent of the individuals i say i've met like blaze and if they don't blaze they're like super cool with it you know like i've never met really anybody under like 40 that is just like oh yeah i don't associate myself with anybody who smokes marijuana or anything it's not like that dude it's super just like extremely welcomed and just like yeah man like we're making a shitload of money off of taxing it and everything so it's just it, it's just a super like pro over here so i mean yeah i, I kind of forget that you know other people don't reside in california and it's still like illegal and shit so I kind of, yeah, dude, I'm just always, you know, trying to rep the peace, love, and weed, bro. Like, that's just, you know, how I feel and how it should be. I, I agree with that 100%. And it's it's weird in Idaho where we're at. Yeah, because yeah. we're, we're literally right across, like, a bridge. Our city next to us, closest to us, is in Washington. They have, like, three pot shops. And like, are you guys really that close to Washington? Yeah, yeah, 15 like, minutes. Like, no, less than that. Like, literally a five minute drive we're across from, from here. Idaho well, to Washington. Te technically, it could be just one step. That's true. Yeah. We're, we're bordering that town. Yeah, like, yeah. So, like, I guess, so, like, a lot of people in this town, it's like, a lot of people are cool with it, I feel like. Mm -hmm. like but you most of Idaho is just like, no, no way with weed. Yeah, dude, like, that's super unfortunate that, like, um, you know, like oh, essentially like, it like derives down from the government, just really instilling it in individuals saying like, you know, this is, well, it's regulated as a schedule one drug first off. And that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. That's yeah. in the same category as methamphetamines and like crystal meth and or, I guess that's the same thing, crystal meth and methamphetamines, but like uh, crack cocaine, like it, it's, it, it's, it's regulated the same as like some of the most destructive drugs and like marijuana isn't a drug, dude. Like uh, I can, I can honestly say it's, it's, it's one of the most healing natural remedies. Like people forget that like it, it's a plant that like, you know, like literally like grows from the fucking ground, you know, like it, it, I, I kind of have to go with like the Joe Rogan thing where like, it's not necessarily a hundred percent natural, you know, like people are definitely adding different additives to make their plants more potent, but it just like, for me, dude, like, it, like my mom had breast cancer and she solely relied on marijuana to like take the pain away to increase her appetite to kill her insomnia and it did it very well she actually passed away this uh this year so uh it was it, it was it was super you know sad and like not like super you know fortunate for me but 
to know that marijuana helped make her last, you know, years and time here on earth, like that much more, you know, pain free and just more tolerable. Like it's just, it's, it's an amazing plant that has amazing benefits, dude. Just hemp alone. You know, there's two different types of plants. Sorry to go off on this tangent, but hey, dude, there's two dude, different cool. types of plants. This is you, bro. Plant, and there's a female plant. The female plant contains THC tetrahydrocannabinoids, and then the male plant does not. And the male plant is uh, considered hemp. And the things that we can do with hemp is astonishing. We can make our own oil. We can make our own gasoline. We can make our own textiles. We can print our own money. You can make it. Dude, the list goes fucking on, bro. So it's super unfortunate to hear that people are just essentially brainwashed from the government, you know, telling them that this is bad, you know, this is, this is an illegal drug, you know, and people just like take that and they hear it and they just apply it to their daily lives without ever experimenting with it. Or if they do experiment with it, they go on a bad trip because they're, they're so brainwashed that they think like what they're doing is wrong. And then they start to develop paranoia. And then you talk to those same people, you know, like, oh, yeah, you ever tried marijuana? Yeah, I tried it once and it was terrible. You know, I just was staring at the wall, sweating balls and just freaking out. It's like, oh, dude, that's a terrible time. I'm sorry that happened. But, you know, there's a there, there, there's always a right place to do things and there's a wrong place to do things. And I feel most people feel like that, you know, smoking weed just in any kind of setting, you know, is a wrong thing to do. And it's super unfortunate that they have that mentality because, you know, as unfortunate as it is, somebody in their family with just you know the way statistics are today are going to develop some type of cancer or some type of you know just ailment that could be like remedied through marijuana so it's unfortunate that they you know rely on the pharmaceutical companies to basically combat whatever it is that they may be dealing with and it's 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 just it's it's just super unfortunate you know you guys could be making a shitload of money you know taxing the hell out of it and just let people doing what they're going to do, you know, anyway, like people are going to smoke weed if they want to smoke weed. So you might as well just take the Portugal stance on it. Like, I'm not sure if you guys know about Portugal, but Portugal recently, I don't know how recent it was, but semi recently just legalized all drugs. Like everything is completely legalized there. And what like, like uh, directly after that happened, crime rate dropped down, diseases dropped down, you know, like HIV and like different things like that. Thing was like decreasing and it, it was it was a really really bitching thing that Portugal did and I feel like they're going to kind of set the bar to different countries they're going to evaluate and look at what Portugal did and how successful they were at doing it and they're going to implement it so it, it's it, it's essentially just like when Colorado legalized weed you know Colorado was the first state to you know record you know to medicinal or not medicinally but rec- recreationally legalized weed in the state's are falling like a domino effect. They saw exactly how much revenue Colorado generated just just taxing weed and the the rest of the states followed suit. Like it's something ridiculous. Like I know California, Washington, Oregon, uh Nevada recently, uh Utah even recently, they're, like the Michigan, like there's it's just a domino effect. Like all these states are following suit and like uh, 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 ideally around five to 10 years, we're really hoping that it's just going to be, you know, the entire, you know, US, USA is just going to be completely, you know, legalized for recreational marijuana. And that's the dream. And hopefully we fucking get there sooner than later. You know, if I needed somebody on here that was passionate about marijuana, we need to take you to the Idaho state of the house, state, state house in Idaho to make sure you give them that exact argument because I was well thought out and i loved every bit of it but we're gonna go back to what you said about portugal i think cold has a very strong yeah, stance i have on a that. very i said this on the podcast before but like i honestly think that the u.s should just totally legalize all drugs too because you can moderate all the drugs you know like we do with weed or whatever but like tobacco alcohol yeah and it's it's just like No matter what, if people want to smoke meth, they're going to smoke meth or inject it or they're going to do heroin, you know, legal or not. And it could just, it's, it saves so much tax dollars, you know, just not fighting, you know, a war. Dude, the the fucking war on drugs is one of the most ridiculous fucking and just, just, just non-productive and 
it honestly is. just like self-harming things that like you know like it's it, it just it's just it's just not it, first off it's not working second off the amount of you know taxpayers money that goes into that is just you know sizable so no i totally agree i think you know like if people are going to do it they're going to do it and i understand like where people get scared about it you know just like the realization like oh you know like i don't want my kids you know being exposed to you know this and that and the unfortunate you know the, the unfortunate reality of the situation is they're going to get exposed to it at some point in time there's just there's nothing you can do about it you know you can create a war on drugs and you know make everything you know illegal and this and that but they're going to be you know times where you know they're going to experiment and they're going to be in a situation where you know it's around and they're going to do whatever it is they're going to do it's it, it, and it kind of goes back to marijuana being a gateway drug marijuana is not a gateway drug the only the only gateway that the marijuana is opening is a fucking refrigerator okay like it's just, <laughs> it's, it's, that's, that, that, that's it you know? I've, you know, partaken in marijuana since I was 16 years old, you know, and the only, the only drugs I've ever done in my life, dude, it's like straight up in my fucking life, like, I've taken, uh, I've taken some boomers, uh, is what we call them here, shrooms, okay. uh, <laughs> taken some shrooms. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Take, we call, um, but marijuana is not a gateway drug. The only gateway is your actual mind. You know, those people that like smoke marijuana and then like go out and do harder things, they already had a mentality in their mind. I want to try this. I want to see how it is. I want to see if I like it. They just experiment, you know, like to, to, to say it's all related to marijuana, you know, introducing them to it. It's, it's, it's extremely debatable and it's just almost insulting really, you know, it's just like, yeah, no, I don't agree with that at all. And I honestly think I'm, living proof of it but you know to each his own so one other thing i kind of want to ask because it's an epidemic here in idaho and washington and you know you live That's in a small town when this is the biggest story hitting everybody and i'm a culprit of it born is also a culprit of it vaping is a big problem here in washington and here in idaho what's the because you can't go anywhere in Lewiston, Idaho, or in Washington without seeing at least one person with a vape in their hand. Is that the same thing in California? What's like vaping like in California? Dude, it's a it's a huge scene here. Like you know, any any tobacco shop like is fully equipped and stocked with all that shit. Like like my stance on it, I. I totally take the Randy Marsh stance on it. I'm not sure if you've seen that episode or not, but he's uh, he's got a pot farm, you know, and he's like growing pot and he's doing pretty well. And then, you know, like some big buck, you know, like vaping, like corporate guy, like comes over and like tries to, tries to essentially add Randy to like their branch. And he basically tells him like, yeah, I'm not going to, you know, associate myself with those pussy sticks. So that's kind of <laughs> how I look at it. You know, I, I just, yeah, dude, like, uh, like it's it's one thing if you're like smoking cigarettes and you know you're trying to like you know wean yourself off of that and you're substituting it for a mo for a more quote unquote healthy uh smoke uh, uh like uh ingestion but to me you know it's just it, it one it's a waste of money two it's compromising your health and three there's just no real benefit out of it you know what i mean like you may feel you know better but it's really just like the nicotine that's you know just going in your head and you know the more you use it the more you're going to crave it the more you crave it the more you're going to buy and me i'm a cheapskate you know i my my girlfriend can fully attest to that you know i'm a total total fucking cheapskate i just buy whatever the hell is necessary and uh, for me that's not necessary and uh you know i'll just i'll just buy whatever beers on sale you know i don't i i don't i don't don't abide by any specific brand. You know, it's whatever the fuck is on sale. That is what the fuck I get. Like, it's now just, tell me, are all those jerseys on your wall necessary? Oh, yeah, <laughs> fucking in. That that is uh, at the Chelsea jersey. Yes. That is a Chivas jersey. That is a Dortmund jersey. That mm-hmm. is Atlético de Madrid, uh, Juventus, uh, San Jose Sharks, uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. This is all completely necessary, bro. <laughs> I believe that. Now, now, do you do you speak any Spanish? Because the way you rolled your R's right there kind of got me thinking. You know how to speak a little Spanish. 
Uh, sí, uh, puedo hablar un poquito español, pero no entiendo todo el idioma, uh, pero estoy uh, practicando todo el idioma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we have a friend that is like 100% Mexican that speaks. Cross the border illegally every day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Damn, you're riding them out, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Oh, shit. Oh, no, he's good, but. You did it for a He's good. Time. Yeah, okay, bud. You're going to be looking for that muff in a couple of weeks. Hey, anybody seen Pedro? No, not after that. <laughs> Dude, his name is almost about as fucking original as Pedro. It's Arturo. Nice. Yes, yeah, you guys. Nice. I don't know. It's funny shit. I don't. It's <laughs> so being a California kid, or I guess you're, how old are you? Anyway, I don't think I know. I'm actually 42, dude. Believe 42? It or not. Dude, I can tell with the tattoos and the long hair. Uh, I'm only 26, man. 26. I, I, when he said that, I was like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, dude. Uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was born in 93. Bart is sitting here thinking this is a transgender on the screen. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I want to meet this. I'm 19, man. I wouldn't be surprised either. So, okay, you're obviously used to, like, the city life. Like, do you do any – heck recreational activities do you like to go camping do you go hiking like what do you i, I heard california loves fucking hiking i guess so. dude that's like that's like you first like that's a really good thing to, to 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 get into if you're single and you're trying to pick up on females females around here that is what the fuck they live for they live for hiking so me like i'll totally do it but i'm i'm probably gonna do it just to get the view of that uh, backside of the female going up the hill you know what i'm talking about like (laughs) (laughs) are you a camper though you go camping at all yeah dude uh uh, most definitely i'm actually uh looking at uh investing in a uh, fifth wheel and i'm going to be living out of it full time completely off grid just to, uh, you know, get out of the California prices of rent and, you know, oh, just, yeah. like, trying to buy a house. Like, it's just it's just ridiculous. I just want to set myself up for something I know I can accomplish and, you know, just live out of that fifth wheel for, like, five years, take the accumulated savings, and then go buy a parcel of land somewhere in Oregon. So I'm super, super outdoorsy, and at the same time, I'm, like, super, super homebody. You know, it just really depends on, like, like you know, what, what – things I have access to. I'm actually trying to uh, invest in a, in a little four by four truck right now, like a little Ranger, something I can like tow with, but not get raped on gas. Cause gas over here is 450 a gallon, bro. Oh, oh. It's like two. Hunter, you, yeah. think you pay enough to fill up your truck. Yeah. Jesus. I have to fill, I have to fill my uh, Volkswagen up with premium and it's almost $3 a gallon. That's right. At premium, holy hell, that is balling, dude. That's <laughs> raping us, dude. That's like spending here. The national, the national gas prices are lower than that. Like, really? so my ex went over to North Carolina or South Carolina. Gas prices were like one fifty over there. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. That is, that's that that's that's honestly blasphemy talking about <laughs> that over here, bro. Yeah. Like I, I can't I can't even. So. I've been to Cali. Yeah, dude. I, I, but it's crazy over there. Dude, it's it's it's, and, and you know what the thing is, dude, is like it's all on us. You know, like if people were to actually do something about it and like start carpooling and like stop, you know, just like driving, you know, like. Dude, I'm all for like, you know, big ass diesels and shit, but you know, some people just, you know, take it to like another extreme where like they're literally getting negative miles to the gallon. Like as soon as they leave the pump, they gotta do a U turn and just go right back to that shit. You know what I'm talking oh about? God. So it, it's like, our hometown. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. dude. Yeah, dude. Well, dude, if it's only two fifty for gas, I can see why people are doing it, but it's it's fucking four fifty over here. You know, we need to cut that shit out for a little bit, you know, just start taking the damn bus. But, um, oh man, we've barely even got a bus. We here. got like yeah. a few buses around here. It takes like three hours to get downtown. It'd be literally like, a oh, shit. yeah, it'd be like a 10 minute, <laughs> it would be like a 10 minute drive to just drive yourself. Oh, dude, like our public transportation system here is like pretty, like, well, like, uh, well established. You got a bus coming every 20, 25 minutes. Oh. And like, they're, they're on time and they get you ready to go. You pay a buck 50 and you can take that bus, you know, 20 miles through town and it'll drop you off where you need to go. So it's, it's pretty, 
it's pretty well, you know, like versatile. Like you can, you can easily plan like your day around it where you can get to where you need to go, you know, at like a, you know, at like a pretty specific time. So, um, yeah, dude, like, uh, to go back to the original question, I'm always trying to like do different things, you know, just, yeah. Like I'm pretty into surfing. I'm pretty into rock climbing, you know, like, yeah, I'm always trying to do like, just, you know, kind of get out like, I don't know, man. My philosophy is a little different. You know, you spend a third of your life working, a third of your life sleeping, and the remainder, uh, one third is divided amongst a lot of shit you want to do. You know, go into the DMV, you know, fucking, you know, getting a ticket or going to court or there's just a lot of different things, you know. And like for me, like that's not what life's all about, dude. So I just want to invest in this fifth wheel and then just start working part time and just really, you know, like enjoying life and just living it to the fullest and, you know, just not having any regrets, you know, just going out there fucking sending it. And just, dude, just really just taking life by the balls and just fucking, you know, like just ripping at that shit, you know, getting the most out of it. You know what I mean? I like it. I live in a fifth wheel, but it's in a trailer park and I pay three fifteen a month for it. That's fucking tits, bro. You know what? You got like full hookups and shit at that park? Yeah, yeah, I got everything. I just, I don't, I don't have cable because I don't pay for it, but. Fuck cable, dude. As long as you got Wi-Fi, you could stream that shit. Yeah. That's fucking legendary, dude. Dude, over here, a trailer park costs literally as much as a fucking, like, renting a house. Like, you'll pay easy $800, $900 just at, just at a trailer park. That's crazy. The, the, most yeah, right? they, the most they pay, like, in my trailer park is maybe $600 a month. Dude, but that's that, fucking legendary. That's, like, dead ass for, like, the double wide. Well, this know? is a – I'm renting this place, two-bedroom, and it is seven fifty a month. We split it. And it's only three, 300 fucking bucks a month. Dude, that is literally what, like, most people pay for a singular room. You, like, not, like, a house, like, a room. Like, your room. That is what you will pay for a room. That's fucking nuts. So, okay, I feel like I've been kind of holding this conversation with you. I'm going to kind of open the mic up. I think, uh, you know, I've seen Barnage getting a little curious, wanting to ask questions. That's kind of piques some interest you know you guys talk to talk to my dog chris a little bit yeah man what the fuck's good don't be all fucking queer just fucking you know ask what's good yeah okay so are you strictly flower or do you dab out too nah bro i'm strictly flowers bro like 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 the dab scene here is like super super relevant for sure but it for like I said, I'm a cheapskate, bro. I, I just need some flour and I'm gonna get where I need to go. You know, dabbing is for like the really just honestly, the people that dab are usually are people that like sell bud, you know, like they just like have like a lot of free time themselves and they've smoked so much flour that they've built up an immunity to it and they need that extra step to like get where they're trying to go. So um i'll do it if it's around but i'm not gonna go out of my way to pay for it you know because you gotta you gotta get another rig set up you gotta get a torch you gotta do this nah bro just give me a lighter let me pack my bong and just let me enjoy myself i don't want to do like a process you know like i'm sure it's worth it in the end result but nah dude like that's not yeah that's not really me so how much you gotta pay for a gram of wax there Oh yeah, that's uh, it. De- it really depends. I mean, I'll I'll give you worst case to best case scenario. Uh, you could worst case probably or like well well best case as in the least amount of money that you're gonna pay would be about twenty dollars a G, and then like worst case about forty. Yeah, that's that's like here, right, right, Lauren? Well, I mean, I can get a gram for five bucks here, but I really, yeah. Well, yeah. with your a twenty yeah. discount. No, like sometimes the little- like. But like uh, my girlfriend actually just informed me like that like that's from like that's from like a homie just if you're going to a shop it can easily be upwards of like 100 g wow. damn that's that's yeah, crazy dude. Yeah. dude yeah that's like li- that literally like california there. always seems so dope to people that don't live in california and then you hear how much everything is in california and you're like i'm good i'll just chill night out <laughs> Yeah, dude, we definitely pay a little more to get a little more, and like, uh, like that, like that's kind of yeah, that. That's kind of why I want to live out of the fifth wheel, dude. I love Cali to death, bro. But like, I'm not trying to pay for all these fucking taxes. I'm not trying to pay for you know all this rent, and you know I'm a I'm a very strong 
uh, you know, Second Amendment, uh, you know, activists, you know, I, I'm a small dude. So, you know, I rely on my guns for protection and Cali does not like guns at all. You got to oh. jump through fucking hoops so, well, and laughs. Laws, exactly. Like, so like, uh, like open carry and concealed carry, like. <laughs> <laughs> that is non-existent, bro. There is no such thing as open carry. There is there is a concealed carry permit that you can apply for, but statistically, most people get put on that list. They have to wait for about a year to a year and a half before you can actually get that gun in your holster. That's funny. You want to know the laws here in Idaho? I don't. I I, I would be so surprised if there is a law. There isn't. <laughs> yeah, you can OB, I, open I, I, or I, 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 carry without any permits in Idaho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you guys, you guys probably got like the like fucking wild west shit where people were just like dual wheels and pistols and shit walking into saloons, oh, yeah. kicking up the whole double so doors. And shit, you know? <laughs> so we're in a grocery store and like there's at least ten people a day that just have shit on their waist and like whoever knows how many more just concealed carried. Yeah, dude. Uh, that like I I I fully totally support that. That is fucking awesome. You know, like I I really wish it was like that here, but it's it's not like that here, and I don't think it's ever gonna be like that here. I I I, I hope somebody changes it at some point in time, but California is way way too fucking blue, dude. Or, it's that's, just not gonna happen, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. I, that, that, that's why I want to go up to Oregon, you know, where I can, you know, like have everything I need. That's like Oregon's like California's little brother, you know. Everything that California has, Oregon pretty much has it. It's just, it, it's, 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 it's just. A, 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 I'm not even gonna say subpar because it's not. It, like, like for me, Oregon's got everything I could possibly want. It's got beaches, it's got mountains, it's got streams, it's got it's got everything I could possibly want, and like that's just like my like dream destination. So that is that is definitely where I'm gonna reside. And it's funny because Idaho is Idaho is super red. So you know the fact that you y'all got a problem with it being super blue, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, we got the dogs in the chat. Yeah, that's a uh, Zeus. Zeus, dude, that's a big boy. You got some big boys. He's a uh, he's a he's a protection dog, so he's a uh, he's 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 doing his job. He he he. he... Balto's outside. He's like, like walking by himself. No way. Are you sure? Hey, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Okay. Oh, we gotta... what kind of dog is that? Uh, he's a he's a Doberman. Hang on a second. Yeah. Doberman. Barnum's a big fan of the Doberman. <laughs> Barnage likes all dogs and oh, cats. Oh, fuck. Going on. A all right, sorry about that. Dude. I thought there was somebody outside. About that. Hey, it's all good, bro. So I think we're gonna get close to wrapping this up. I got two more things to do, though. Uh, one more thing before we go. If any of these four beautiful men that are in here, that sounds real homosexual, but any of these four <laughs> guys that are in here want to ask. Chris, a parting question, or if you want to say something, say it, because we're going to wrap her up. Chris, come to Treb's uh, wedding. I would love to meet you in real life. I think that'd be awesome. Dude, it's going to happen, bro. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Like That's why I was asking him, like, when again, because, uh, yeah, uh, I totally – isn't it like in April, right? Well, so we changed it. So it went from May of next year to September of next year. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Just well, getting some more time. To get some shit out of you better, you better start training because you're stepping in <laughs> to the cage with the toughest guy in his entire trailer park, Colton. What do you, what, what, what's your strategy heading into this fight with Colton? What do you, what are you thinking <laughs> that you need to do in order to beat the baddest man in Lewis and Idaho? Dude, I, I think I'd, I think I gotta just shoot him, dude. I'm not sure if like that's gonna. Be <laughs> <laughs> like you said, your belt. A buck thirty, soaking wet. Like I honestly probably have like a good thirty pounds on you. How tall are you, bro, dude? Uh, honestly, bro, that that like it, it's it's all good, dude. I I I'm not trying to like toot my own horn or anything, bro. But I've I've rolled with guys that are well well over a hundred pounds heavier than I am, and Damn. I've definitely handled my shit. Dude. I'm excited it's, it's... for the the fight. I'm excited. I think it's gonna pull in the views. That's all I'm worried about. It's going to pull on the views, does definitely. So, if like, make sure you don't be breaking any bones or nothing. You know, we can't be promising. I'll get you more views if one of y'all breaks some bones. 
All right, anything else from Hunter Barn Fitch? Y'all got anything? Oh, dude, I, I just want to meet the motherfucker. Right, you say, like, <laughs> smoke, fuck. Yeah, dude, no shit. I'm, <laughs> telling, <laughs> I'm telling you, you're like a long-lost crew member that deserves to be in, like, all these crew casts. Well, you fit in perfectly with us. Now, before dude. we head out, I need to ask you an important question for me and for everybody that just watches the Jags content. And if you've listened this far into this podcast, you are going to get some exclusive Jags content right now. Do you want the Jags to roll with Gardner Minshew the third for the rest of the, se- the rest of the season? Okay. Or do you okay, want dude. the Jags put in Nick Foles? Okay. Like for me, I think Gardner. I I I, I think what Gardner Minshew has done is 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 honestly legendary for our organization. Hundred percent. To to choose to choose a sixth round pick you know for a quarterback you know first off is just you're not going to expect that guy to fill in any shoes anytime soon all right so like he he was he was going to be fighting for the third for the third string quarterback everyone thought you know uh magoo was just gonna you know escape right in there you know and we were contemplating even potentially just putting him on the practice squad and only having two quarterbacks on there you know like that's a factor that people forget and as soon as, you know, uh, the preseason came around, you know, everyone was expecting a lot from this guy. That's the thing is everybody was expecting a really high ceiling from him. And what we got was a low floor. And that's solely, you know, you, you know, that's solely upon, you know, the weapons that, you know, he had around him. You know, it, it was it, – and, and, and I do agree with the coaches to, you know, keep their starters out give, you know, the second, you know, the second, third string guys, you know, a position to fight for, you know, I think that's a good strategy. And I, I think it, I think it paid dividend, even though we lost holes in the first fucking quarter. Um, I, I think it was a good strategy for the uh, additional pieces around. So with that in mind, I, I think what Gardner Dunn has is, 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 is impeccable for a sixth round rookie. I think that's, I think what he does is fucking phenomenal, but Looking at the bigger picture, I think Gardner has missed a lot of really long balls to receivers that were open that Nick Foles could have hit. At the same time, there ain't no damn way Nick Foles could extend as many plays as Gardner Minshew has done. You know, Nick Foles cannot scramble for shit. You know, I'm, I, I, I kind of compare him to Tom Brady where – you know, if he feels, you know, that pocket presence collapsing, he's just going to kind of, you know, go down, you know, for, you know, his safety, especially after, you know, this previous, you know, accident, he's going to be extremely fucking shell shocked to where he's not going to want to injure that shit again. So I think he's going to pull a Tom Brady and anytime he feels that pocket collapse, he's just going to go down. Whereas Gardner has the ability to extend those plays, extend those drives. You know, he's a lot younger. He's, you know, just like more capable to take a little bit more punishment. So looking at it, I think if, I think if Gardner Minshew does not put up not only serious numbers, but points on the scoreboard, I think if he doesn't put up at least a two consecutive, consecutive 14 point lead, a two possession drive, I think they're going to give the position to Foles. I think that that's exactly why they brought in Filippo was to build their offense solely around Nick Foles. That's why we made him, you know, paying him, what is it, like 22 mil is what it comes out to a, a, a year. And, you know, paying that much money to a guy that really didn't have much competition, you know, in the runnings when we were, you know, signing him to begin with, I think that, like, pretty much tells everything that's going on. You know, Jacksonville is thrilled to have Gardner as a backup. I think that's, I think that's a great position for him. Um, I, I think he's going to excel. Um, other people might complain and say, you know, they're going to slow the progression of him, taking him out and putting him in backup. And, you know, that may be true, but looking at the bigger picture of the franchise, I think Jacksonville is going to go with big Dick Nick. They're going to put him in. I think he's going to, you know, uh, I think he's going to excel. I think he's going to hit those long balls. But the only the only factor or the only problem I see with that scenario is the offensive line. If the offensive line cannot give Nick Foles the passing time that he needs to complete those aerated passes and they get the pressure collapsed, like in that pocket, I think they're going to switch to Gardner. I, 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 that's 
that is that I think that's Gardner's saving grace is is his ability to escape the pocket, his ability to analyze the pocket presence. I, I think that's where Gardner is really going to shine. So I, it, and so with that in mind, it comes down to the offensive line. How the offensive line is going to perform is going to dictate who is starting. That That's what I think is going to happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Christopher Columbus, Mr. Mountain Climber, Mr. California, Mr. Weed Smoker, Mr. Gun Rights himself. Thank you for coming on to the channel. It's been long overdue. Any uh, final words before we end this thing? Pack it fat. Pack it fat. All right. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, Chris. I appreciate you. Thank you, brother, man. You guys stay safe, man. Looking forward to meeting you guys. What a guy. Christopher Columbus, dude. I'm glad. He's that's, the man. That was probably one of, if not the longest crew casts that we've ever recorded. He's very... Uh, very insightful and honestly it felt like when hunter made his first appearance like we all were like fuck i love chris you know when hunter came in here we're like fuck we love hunter <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I i uh i hope you guys enjoyed that and make sure that if you guys haven't already you hit that subscribe button click the bell icon to get notified every single time i drop a new video we drop new content on this channel four days a week you can check all the links down below as well including christopher columbus's youtube channel when he starts coming back up and he's going to make rock climbing videos. And anybody got any last words? Let's go around the room. Colge, what do you got to say? Don't be sad. Just have a good day. All right. Fitz, what you got? Oh, just hoping for another win. Hey, <laughs> hey, Fitz, I'm sorry I'm sorry for kind of these back three. Because I feel like y'all didn't get much mic time during the, uh, the well, Christopher okay. Columbus chat. Apologize for that. Barnhouse Productions. Yee hee. Screw the Patriots. 100%. Hunter? Honored to be here. Honored to be here. Oh, I love it. Honored to I be a part it. of it. I fucking love Hunter. That's Hunter, right. Christopher <laughs> Columbus. All right, guys. Thank you guys for coming out, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.